a game to Vegas with the one game series lead. Uh, I'll start with this. How have you been enjoying this run by the Golden Knights so far? I love it. Um, play, the games are a little late over here on the East Coast, but um, I mean, I stay up for them <laughs> and uh, it's been a blast. Hey, uh, you got any Florida guys in your room that might be uh, giving you a little grief there? You're a Vegas <laughs> guy, so you're sure you're, uh, you're rocking the uh, the Golden Knights uh, gear? Yep. Um, pretty much every time they play, I got something Golden Knights on, and uh, Castellanos and, and Trey Turner are from Florida, so they give me a, a couple smack talks here and there, but uh, nothing too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, I want you to take us back, you know, seven years now or so when the announcement was made that Vegas was going to get a hockey team. You were finishing high school, getting ready to go to UNLV. Do you remember what you thought about that, what the excitement was, and what it meant to you in the city to have them named a franchise? Yeah, um, just growing up there, we didn't have our own team. And, I mean, you kind of picked who you wanted to root for um, growing up. And um, once we got our own team, it was ours and um, said Vegas in front of the team name and um it kind of just took off in the city and um i remember the first puck drop i was at the game and um it was electric from from day one and um they've done nothing but great things for the city I'll tell you what, it is one of the more unique buildings in the entire National Hockey League. It is a fun place to play. If you play for the Golden Knights, not so much uh, for the visiting team. It is loud in here at T-Mobile uh, during these games. I mean, this team has won awards for some of their pregame uh, presentation. And, you know, the fans have really embraced the team since year one, including Bryce Harper, who was around a little bit uh, for that run to the cup final back in their first season. Uh, how is he handling uh, these games so far? Do you guys ever watch? them together uh, like give us kind of your viewing experience yeah we watch every game um, together he's actually behind me right now um, doing his pregame <laughs> stuff he's a little busy kind of rehabbing but um, no we're, we watch them all together and um, watched game one uh, a couple nights ago together and uh, yeah it's just kind of a, a cool thing like I said it we never had a team so um, just kind of rallying around um, the Knights is, is kind of what we all done. Bryson, you have a favorite player from uh, throughout Knights history? Oh, um, I loved uh, I loved the flower. Um, it was sad to see him go, oh, but yeah. uh, Stone and and Marshall Salt and um, Eichel. Now it's I mean they got a, a good group of guys, and um, it's hard not to root for all of them. I, I want to know how you watch the game. I know it's on TV, but I mean, are you a fan that is yelling at the screen? You know, you're, you're, are you, you know, you're a pro athlete too, so do you, do you, you keep it calm? What, what's it like for you uh, in these moments watching these fun games? Yeah, I mean, I get a little nervous kind of watching them. I mean, a little more nervous than when I'm actually playing. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't scream at the TV. I know how hard uh, sports are and – um, stuff like that, but I mean, when they score, that's that's when I'm doing the screaming. Well, you're legit. If you're getting nervous before watching yes. games, that means you are legit with a capital L in terms of your fandom of the game and of this team. I'll ask you this then: If you guys are watching these games, I mean, what was your reaction to that paddle save from Aiden Hill? I mean, we went nuts <laughs> even just covering the game. Uh, what was your guys' reaction to that save? Yeah, that one was was crazy. I was eating at the at the time and. Um, I mean, it kind of brought back bad memories from, from the first Stanley Cup when um, Capitals did that to us. But, yeah, it's um, Holby. Yeah, it was, it was a, a great save, and um, he's playing extremely well. So, Hey, Bryson, you, your team, the Philadelphia Phillies, had an unbelievable run last year. You get to the World Series. Like, now the Vegas Golden Knights are here in the Stanley Cup final. As a professional athlete, like, what was that? What was your experience going to the, you know, the showcase event, trying to win a title? And, you know, what do you think these guys are going through now on a day-to-day? -day? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of media. Um, I mean, it's on national TV every night, and um, people that don't, sometimes watch every game or are, are watching and um, I mean that's really cool that that you get to play on national TV every night and um, I mean I'm sure it's it's hectic down there in Vegas right now and um, I know everyone's pumped I've had a bunch of friends that that were at the game in game one and 
um, they just said the the city is kind of buzzing around around the team and and around that arena right now. So um, I mean, it looks it looks unbelievable. Well, we know you're a great fan, but I want to know about like where you've gone from hockey knowledge from where you began to where you are now. Would you say it's risen like tenfold, or were you already were you already knowledgeable about hockey before the Vegas Golden Knights came here? No, I was pretty good. Um, I played NHL since I was little, so um, I knew what I could and couldn't do during the video games. So. <laughs> I love that. That, that that's classic because yeah. yep. if you don't play NHL then you don't really know the this part of the heart and soul of, of this sport Roof but uh, before we let you go we appreciate you taking some time we know you're busy so thank you for hopping on and chatting about the Golden Knights with us but do you have a prediction for tonight and do you rock anything like game gear wise like do you have anything on your glove or anything like that to uh, represent the Golden Knights tonight um, I have a pair of cleats that that has the Knights logo on the on the heel. It's in the it's the Vegas skyline, but there's a a Knights logo on the back of it. So um, prediction wise, um, I mean I think it's going to be chippy again. They were trying to get under their skin and um, they didn't let it happen. So um, it's going to be chippy again. So uh, I can't wait and um, hope the Knights pull this one out too. Yeah, Aiden Hill told me he liked the chippiness. No, I don't think they're going to rattle Aiden Hill uh, between the pipes by getting in his grill. He stood up for himself pretty good. We'll keep an eye out for the cleats. They sound sick. Thank you for this. Uh, good luck in your game uh, today, and uh, have fun watching the, the Knights when you get around to it.